delivering a tough message soon and you're feeling uneasy, uncomfortable and just dreading the moment? If you are feeling uneasy about delivering tough messages, then you are not alone. Many of my clients come to our conversations with this exact pain point and in this video, I'm going to share with you three tips that could help you deliver the tough messages effectively. Now, why are tough messages difficult to deliver? Perhaps it is for the fear of what would happen when I say something that's potentially seen as negative or offensive. Would my receiver get angry? Would there be a shouting match? And these are the highly charged, emotionally very tense situations that most people don't enjoy being in. So it's totally understandable why you are feeling uneasy about it. And I'm going to share with you three tips now that will help you confront those situations effectively and get your message across. Now tip number one, communicate your intention really clearly. And when I say that, it means for you to really set for yourself. What does success look like? If I deliver the message correctly and it's been received accurately, what do I want the receiver to say and to feel? Having that end picture in mind will help you understand what is the approach and how we should set a context or even communicate your intention in sending this message and have a conversation with this person. Now tip number two, go straight to the point. Going straight to the point doesn't mean being blunt and giving it to the person right in the face because that might really be rude and that's really what we want to avoid as well. Now going straight to the point means that you take away all the extra padding to make it pleasant. This is what many people tend to do. We tend to cushion the impact of the tough message by adding too many niceties or the flower, flowery language around it. Because you know what? People actually get confused when you don't communicate straight to the point. Many of my clients have tried it and it works wonders. Just be direct, go straight to the point, come from a place of respect and care and support the receiver. Now, third tip is to invite the receiver to respond. Now, imagine this is a conversation where two people should be interacting. It is not an announcement, right? So it is not two monologues happening or even just a one-way conversation. You want the receiver to respond, to share the insights, what he or she feels about it. Does he or she even agree with the feedback or the tough message? Any thoughts on it? Are there areas that he or she requires support? Are there any underlying reasons that cause a certain problematic behaviour? Now remember this, when we communicate and send tough messages to people, we are trying to influence the behaviour. We need that person to be on board with us, to be on the same page. Then you will have a good chance of seeing improvements in the outcomes. Now I hope these three tips help you gain confidence in delivering the tough messages and I'll see you in the next video.